this is the card we're going to be making today. Isn't it pretty? This is from the beautiful Painted Lavender uh, stamp set. I used uh, from the Textured Floral, Every Thought of You Makes Me Smile. And I used the Exposed Brick 3D Embossing Folder. I hope you can see it there. It's it's a vintage look, and I absolutely love vintage looks. So this is kind of a vintage look card. So we will get started. Okay, now. I'm getting my things in a row here. <laughs> <coughs> I think that's for the inside and this is for here. Yeah, that's for here. So that's got to be run through the embossing folder. And so does this. So I will show you what I did on this. I took my uh, Highland Heather and my bunch of lavender and I put it like a diamond kind of look and like that. Now I am taking my Lost Lagoon and that comes in here. I think I've got to stamp off just there. Now this gets run through the embossing folder too, so I will be right back. Now I've got that one done and as you see, I put the point up and down so that the lines from the brick are across it. Whoa. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking my crumb cake Crumb cake brush. Whoops, wrong side. <laughs> and by going over it with the uh, crumb cake, it's a very like it looks vintage, but it um, you can see the design better of the embossing folder. Can you see that? See how nice that looks? Now I am going to do the same thing with this. I am going over top of this now a lot of this is going to be covered because I've got different items that I put on top but you never know what is going to show or be hidden so I just do the whole thing because then I know that I've got it done it to my satisfaction and I don't have to worry about it like at the last minute oh I missed that spot you know what I mean Sometimes I find that I don't, me personally, I don't do the edges as well. So I have to, I uh, try to make special effort to do them. There we go. So I need that later. Put that aside, put that aside. 
with this. Now I'm going to bring out this and I am um, putting this on. Now I stamp this off because I don't want it that dark. I want it light like that. If you want it dark, you go right ahead, but I just don't, I don't want it to take over. I want it to be a part of the background and just blend in. Oh, where'd I put it? There it is. Now I'm coming along with this and I'm doing the second um, like as if I stamped off just like that and if you want it a little bit more you just add wherever you want so, I um, brought, this is not dotage, it's actually lilacs, but I'm using it as dotage. It's kind of cool. And it just kind of, I don't know, um... Blends things a little bit. There we go. So this is going to go on here. Before I do that, I am going to do the center and the envelope because then everything's done and then I can put things away. I like this leaf. And I'm going to bring in my envelope and do the same thing basically with it. I'm just using all the ink on there that I have. You don't have to if there's no ink. Like down here, there was basically no ink. You can't see it. And then I'm coming in with my lilac. And I'm doing the stamping off, basically. Just like that. Now, isn't that pretty? Just like that. Now, I think all the stamping is done. And I will just put this back. And we will start putting things together. And hopefully I can find everything that goes on this card. <laughs> I have so many pieces, I sometimes lose them. <laughs> go.
Does everybody hear that? Everybody's home. Sophia started doing that, and now Dominic's picking it up. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> this is Highland Heather and Crumb Cake, or yeah, Crumb Cake, and White. And I don't have uh, the lilac, the painted lavender. Why did I, why I said lilac? Um, painted lavender paper or anything in the mauves, purples. So I thought I would do my own designer series paper. And I think it looks really pretty. So we'll stick this on. Just like that. There we go. Now this is going to go here. And that. Now, as you can see, a little bit sticking out. So what I did is I took, I'm just gonna bring in my little tiny cutter because it fits on my desk better. I bought it specifically <laughs> to fit on my desk because I don't have a lot of length this way so I set this up at one and seven eighths, both of them one and seven eighths, and then I just cut the little tip off. And this is one and seven eighths, and I'm doing, I, I've already cut that one off, so I'm doing it in the center, and this one still has the point on it. I have a point here with the white, so I'm just with my eye extending it, and then I'm just cutting that little point off, and I'm going all the way around and making sure that I have one and seven eighths. And one and seven eighths. It gets a little bit more tricky once you get them off, but it's not hard at all. It's there and there. And it's basically just, you're just putting it in the center of that between three quarters, one and three quarter and two, and cutting that little tip off. Now, if you don't wanna cut that tip off, you don't have to. I just like the look of this. And that that is just purely something I liked. So now I am Whoa. Dainty and delicate. So I'm going to put that away. And then I'm going to bring in my Daffodil Delight marker. And I am going to do the body. So it's darker in the 
on the body. Easy done. Now I've got to find my card. Bring that back in. And this I am going to put glue on. Just a little bit spreading out from that center so that it will stick and I'm just making sure that it's within the bounds. And popping those wings up. Now they will lay down but I just want them to have a little bit of a lift. silicone mat there we go now I'm gonna bring this in this you could use this card for a birthday you could use this card as a thinking of you uh, you could use it just for a friend um, make uh, for an anniversary there's so many uses for this card okay got a little bit of extra glue on there apparently my finger has glue on it I don't want to close it because I will glue it shut. <laughs> that is not a good thing for a card. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go with my <laughs> stamping buddy just to make sure that there's no uh, glue because my I didn't notice it, but my finger has glue on the tip of it. And yeah, that just doesn't work <laughs> when you're dealing with a card. <laughs> so what do you think of my card? I, I, at first I wasn't positive on this set, how I was going to, I like the set, but I wasn't sure how I was going to do it to um, my satisfaction. But I'm just the more I play with it, the more fun I have with it, and the more I love this set. So I hope you like this card. If you like this card, please let me know. Give me a thumbs up, uh, a um, comment, share, um, subscribe to my channel. Still looking for that 550. I know it's not much, but it means a lot. And if I get there, I will be very happy. So thanks for being here. I truly appreciate you spending time with me and taking time out of a busy time of the year to do that is very special. Thanks again. Bye now.